What's up? This is Jax Let's Talk. And we're going to finish reading... Well, we're going to read part two. By the way, there are four parts. I think so. I haven't finished writing it yet. But we're going to read part two um, of Blade, written by me. Okay, let's get started. <clears throat> Part 3 Shot stepped onto a very small piece of raised rock, and very suddenly, a part of the invisible wall opened to reveal a long pathway of darkness. Sean said his goodbyes to Tim, because this could be the last time Sean would ever see him. He stepped into the darkness. The door closed behind him. It was pitch black. He could not see at all. He lit one of his waterproof matches and walked down the tunnel to another wall. A door opened, and Sean was horrified to find a deep, very, very deep fall to a pit of hot, flowing lava. Spikes lined the wall of the hole with the bodies of all who went after the blade. Luckily, there was a bridge. A very crumbly bridge. Part 4 he went as slow as possible to avoid from breaking the ridge in half. He moved very fast and, de and delicate as he advanced across the bridge. He could see it, a light at the end of the bridge. Suddenly, a huge rumble shook the bridge and it became more and more violent. Sean slipped and hit his head on the rocky bridge, knocking himself out. He saw himself holding a trophy. He also saw himself with his wife and children. But quick enough, Sean woke up. He was dangling from the bridge. He pulled himself up and looked up. The pit was collapsing. It was falling at the fastest speed he had ever seen. How will Sean escape from the col collapsing chasm? Find out in the next video. Tell me in the comments. How you want Sean to escape from the chasm. Tell me anything. Think su survival supplies. Use logic. Logic rules. Thanks for listening. Bye.